my distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to make intra-regional travel a joy rather than a hassle. <laughs> 16 years ago, we showed considerable commitment and political will to allow our people to move freely through 10 member states. It worked then, it can work now. And we have Sister Mia who pioneered those efforts 16 years ago. Similar political will must be brought to bear on the, on the issues of expansion of the categories for free movement of skilled nationals to benefit the growth and expansion of the regional economy and the spirit of our community. The reality is that in any free trade arrangement within an integration movement, there will be those who benefit more than others. We recognize this in our revised treaty. It is therefore incumbent upon us all to strive to increase the ability of the less endowed to participate more fully in the trading arrangements. We must all seek to make our arrangements more equitable and use the provisions of the treaty in a more positive manner. It is true that there are dispute mechanism procedures, but we are all in this together for the benefit of the entire CARICOM. This is the true spirit of the community. We are our brothers and sisters keeper, not only in times of disaster, but in all things.